In 1970, Sister Mary Skunda, a nun working in Zambia, sent a letter to Ernst Studinger, a pioneer rocket scientist working on NASA's moon rocket. She asked, Why is money spent on space exploration when children are still starving in Africa? Today, her question remains as relevant as ever, as humanity prepares to return to the moon and beyond. 38 years after her letter, an international group of delegates from the Space Generation Congress met in Glasgow, Scotland, to focus on the rationale of human-based space exploration. So we asked the question again, why are humans necessary in the exploration of space? Exploration is an expression of our culture's vision, energy, optimism, and aspiration. Humans in space are a natural continuation of the evolution of our species, as important as when marine life first emerged to inhabit a new environment, land. Humans are now ready to move beyond the cradle and to inhabit a new environment, space. Human-based exploration requires pushing the barriers of engineering and scientific knowledge, the technology spin-offs of which are applied in a multitude of beneficial applications on right here on Earth. In a world that is torn apart by conflict, any program that promotes international understanding deserves support. Human space exploration will enable substantial international collaboration between all nations. I mean, Think about of the unity the world felt when mankind first walked on the moon. Opening the space frontier will create a new age of economic growth and scientific discoveries, benefiting all the people in all the countries. It will create a new future for the next generations. Why should we explore space? Because in space, we're united. Space explorers are ambassadors of the Earth. That should inspire us down here to work together, regardless of nationality, race or religion. We need this. So now you've heard what we have to say. But we cannot do this without you. Let us all answer Mary Jukunda's letter together. So send us an email. Let us know what you think. Send it now.